Ever since Megan has been wedded off into the royal family, her public status has been on a chokehold. Was she eligible? Is her style in contradiction to the royal family's elegance? She's received several backlashes since then, but what happens when a small flicker of flame ignites a wildfire? Let's dwell deep into one such incident where Megan's public status has been suppressed till its peak. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to talk about a celebrity's fame under flames. The past has the power to both let you reach greater heights or let you down immensely to the ground. Such happened to the now respected royalty, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle, the former suit star, once had a rather flirtatious relationship with the champion golfer Rory McIlroy. Their story began to swirl when McIlroy claims that he unexpectedly nominated her for the Ice Bucket Challenge. Meghan, then delighted to have been nominated for the same, called him to her friend's apartment back in New York to take out the challenge on her by himself. What seemed like a harmless event turned disastrous when ultimately Rory McIlroy decided to split up with his blonde fiance Caroline Wozniacki, who was Danish and was an ace when it came to tennis. What seemed like a match made in heaven did not last long. According to reports, Rory seems to have started chasing brunettes since then, and Megan here was a gorgeous brunette. Could the change in McElroy's preferences have been a coincidence or not? And sometime later, Marco and McElroy seem to have been reported to enjoy a delightful time at Fitzpatrick Hotel where the latter stayed. But soon, good times began to shatter as McElroy's profession seemed to have been affected with his infatuation on Marco. He turned out to be sleep deprived, weary of his surroundings, and this he returned back to New York. McElroy stated at the time that he was more focused on having a good time over his profession which led it to a downstruck. But would all of this be considered cheating when Markle was then in a committed relationship with chef Corey Vitiello? Soon on her blog The Tig, Markle proceeds to gush about her new experiences with the star and how she felt throughout the time. Markle wrote, Ah yes, Rory McElroy, the Rory McElroy. To be the foremost golfer in the world, loved by Tiger, respected by Palmer, and dumper of frigid water onto my lone head for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. That Rory McElroy. He's a force who has the propensity to actually work hard and play hard, relishing intense practices to substantiate his title, embracing nights of sipping Opus One and indulging in group dinners in Cipriani, for balance, of course. And yet, beyond his work, play ethic, the most endearing quality of this man is his character. As real as honest as they come, appreciating a simple smile, never shunning a fan photo, enjoying a plate of pasta with veal ragu, and expressing a love for his parents that is rarely seen in men of his age. Or at any age, to be honest, he's not just the real deal, he is real, and perhaps that's what makes him even more cherished. To be her exact words, Marco then proceeded to use her relationship with the sportsman as a way to promote herself by letting out their private information of each other to the paparazzi and encouraging their photos together to go viral and such. Later, she also admitted to having occasionally set up a paparazzi photo or let info slip out to the press. But when she was confronted by her then-boyfriend, Corey Vitiello, Marco portrayed her relationship with McElroy to have been innocent and completely platonic, all of which was taken as the truth by her boyfriend. Later on a trip to Dublin, where Megan and Vitiello had dinner at Swanky Dublin Restaurant, reporters caught Marco to be gazing at McElroy the whole time. Frustrated by this, Marco was once again confronted by Vitiello, where he once again raised his suspicions on her affair with the star to which Marco firmly denied all suspicions. The following day, the newspaper was called in by Marco's agent stating that Vitiello and Marco were in a loving relationship and that the golfer was never her future. What do you think about such scandals on the royal public figure, Meghan Markle? Was all of this just an honest mistake and unintentional? And was the public simply upholding their nose to somewhere it never belonged? Comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more such updates.